Reporter Tom McKee is focused on the 13 workers who were hurt and taken to Tri-State Hospitals. He's live at University Hospital, where most of the injured are being treated right now. He has the latest update as we continue our 9 News team coverage of this breaking story. Tom? Well, Tanya, as you said, a total of 13 people were injured in this collapse. Ten of them were brought here to University Hospital by life squads, or some of them were brought by private vehicles. That's why the counts may have varied in some ways. All the injuries are said to be non-life-threatening. That's the good news. A few broken bones, cuts, bruises, and abrasions. Now, the hospital's emergency room was extremely busy in the minutes just after the accident was reported downtown. University Hospital, of course, is the go-to facility for these types of emergencies since it's the city's only level one trauma center. The emergency room is ready 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and the staff was ready and waiting for those injured when they arrived. A lot of times the decision is made on the site where the accident occurred. Uh, again, we were told that we'd have as many as six, uh, just two have showed up. Um, sometimes the trauma has, uh, has something to do with the location of the hospital, but other times that's not the case. That was Joe Kelly, the Tro spokesperson for TriHealth. TriHealth owns Good Samaritan and Bethesda North Hospitals. Two people were taken to Bethesda North Hospital, or excuse me, one to Bethesda North, two to Good Samaritan. And Tanya, what I can tell you right now at this time is we have some brand new information that's just come in to us from University Hospital here. Of those 10 people, four have now been released. None of them wanted to speak on camera to us. Two people are going to be possibly kept overnight for observation. The other four may be released sometime this afternoon. At Good Sam, one of those two people has been already released. The one at Bethesda North, in fair condition. We don't know the extent of those injuries right now. In just a short time, we're going to be playing back for you a statement that was read to us here at the hospital from Jostin Concrete Construction. Jostin is the contractor that was uh, employed most of the workers who were involved in this collapse today. They said their thoughts and prayers are with all the families right now and with the loved ones that were injured in this accident today.